welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja and today I'm going to show you how to make Thukpa. Now Thukpa is said to have its origin from Bhutan, Tibet area. Uh, but it is also made, you know, the, there are variations to it made in Nepal, there's variations in the northeast uh, India states, Indian states. Now this is a very, very simple recipe. So let's get started. So I promised you it's a very simple recipe. So we're going to use a pressure cooker over here now. It is, it's a recipe that you can you do it on a stove top, very, very simple. I'm just going to, you know, do it a little faster and I know a lot of you have pressure cookers so why not put it to good use and save some time. So over here in a pressure cooker on medium heat, I have one tablespoon of oil heating up. So while my soup is getting done, I also have to make the noodles part of the dish. So um, these are just the regular fresh noodles that I buy from a grocery store. You can easily use the packeted ones grocery store. So any kind of noodles you like is good. So the noodles have to be made as per package directions, so no brainer there. So the trick to doing noodles and keep making sure they don't stick together is once they're done, drain it out and just add a little bit of oil and just, you know, just mix the oil through so that way they don't stick. And once the oil is hot, we're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic, green chili chopped to taste and mix it up. Just a 30 second head start and add in one onion finely chopped and mix. Once the onions have become translucent, we're also going to add in one medium tomato, just chopped. And one cup of cabbage, chopped. We're going to cook it till the vegetables get a little soft. And now we're going to add in some spices. Salt to taste. You can always adjust the salt later. Red chili powder to taste. Now traditionally, this is a soup that is usually had spicy. Now, it's a winter soup and in places where it is very cold, you know, the food tends to be a little on the spicier side. So we're going to add about one teaspoon of garam masala and mix. Let's cook it for another 30 seconds. And now we're going to add three cups of water to this. If you have vegetable broth at home, use that, use chicken broth, use any kind of broth you like. Uh, and it works really well. I do not have chicken broth or vegetable broth or anything, but I'm making this vegetarian. So I actually have got some um, veggie cubes and that's what I'm going to be using. So I put the water and if you're using uh, cubes, about one is good. I'm just going to add it in and allow it to come to a boil. Okay, so now all of you guys who are non-vegetarian are probably wondering, what about us? So now this soup can easily be made into a non-vegetarian soup. You can use chicken, you can use any kind of meat that you prefer, even seafood. Um, but now what you all you have to do is you, have, you can switch out the broth for a non-vegetarian broth. The other thing you can do is you just take a little bit of your chicken pieces, boil it in some water and with some a little bit of spices, allow it to come to a nice boil. Once it comes to a boil and the chicken looks cooked, pull it out and use that water to as a broth over here. So you're not wasting anything. So you use that water, the broth over here, use the chicken, shred it, and once the soup is cooked, you just add in the chicken at the end. My bouillon or my cube looks uh, like it's melted. And I am going to just close the pressure cooker, and I'm just going to allow it to whistle twice. Once I've turned off the stove, I'm going to allow the pressure to go down all by itself. So while the pressure is still releasing from the pressure cooker, the noodles are done. Look at that. They look fantastic. They are all separate. The other component for this um, dish is egg. Now, if you are a vegetarian, totally skip this step. But if you, you do eat uh, eggs, this is absolutely fantastic. So all I'm going to do is just take eggs and just beat them up and just make like a flat omelet. Now, in our house, everybody fights for the egg. So. I, I make one egg per person, it works out wonderful, nobody's fighting, everybody's happy. Now this thukpa is actually perfect for two people, if you are a good, if you are a soup lover that is. And it is a pretty substantial meal, you know, because of the noodles and the vegetables. So, I'm just going to beat the eggs, add a little bit of salt to the eggs. Meanwhile, I'll turn on my stove again, I have a skillet, again on medium heat. So I'm going to add in as little oil as possible just to coat the skillet and I'm going to make one big omelet or you can make two small ones. So 
will cook the egg on both sides. And once it's done, turn off the stove and transfer it onto a plate. So it's all coming together. The pressure has gone down, the noodles are done, the egg is ready. I'm going to open up the pressure cooker and make sure everything is as we want it. It smells fantastic here. Okay, let's have a look. So this is a soup pot. It looks good. Actually, the lady who gave me this recipe, she told me that she usually uses like some chicken masala to it, just to give it a little oomph, you know, like a little flavor. Now, chicken masala is totally vegetarian, so just for the people who are vegetarian, it's just your masala, your spices that are ground up. There is no chicken in it, so you feel free to use it if you have it available. It's got this magic portion, so... Mm. Wow! A little, a little more on the spicier side than I really wanted, but then you know it's going to go in with the noodles, so it should balance out. Perfect. Time to serve. Here, just to show you what it uh, looks like. Here you go. It is very watery. So, for the people who are making it on the stove top, this is what the consistency, and this is what you're looking for. So, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the uh, eggs. So, just cut them any way you like. So now. Everything is ready. So I have a bowl over here. So I'm going to serve it. Let's take some noodles. Put them on the side. Take some soup. And I've got my eggs. And I've got some cilantro. Lots of cilantro. Now a lot of people like to put it inside the soup which is also fantastic. So I'm going to do both, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now all that's left to do is to dig into my thupka. Now you're going to need chopsticks for the noodles and a spoon for the soup. So mix it all in. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, take some soup and a spoon. And oh, I forgot the egg. Next bite. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Okay. I've had some soup. I have to have the egg. Honestly, nothing like a nice spicy bowl of soup and noodles. And very, very comforting. And I love the fact that all these ingredients we all have at home all the time, other than the noodles, I think. That is probably the only thing. But if you have the dried ones at home, sitting at home, wow. Something that can be made really fast and really quickly. So if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more from us, please don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to enjoy my thukpa, you enjoy yours, and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Somebody's supposed to say, add a pinch of spice to your life. Guess it's me. Mm -hmm.